Hi guys, so this episode is about one of the biggest cliches and honestly kind of a myth about tree skiing, especially if you have the right equipment. It's uh, the biggest cliche you hear is don't use your pull straps. And I agree with that if you're not gonna buy yourself releasable straps, but I think there's a lot of reasons why you should buy releasable straps and I'm gonna tell you why. Um, so the first thing is, is not using your pull straps means that uh, we our hand is connected to our pole much more and so is our upper body uh, when we you do pole touches and pole plants if we don't want our body to move with our pole which is actually quite often um, a lot of people think a pole touch starts our turn that is absolutely not true um, but we don't want our body to move with our pole and you have to with a strong grip whereas whenever you have a pole strap on you can have a much lighter grip and you have more mobility mo uh, mobility with your pole. So this means that I can be more precise, quicker, slower with my pole touch than I would without the pole strap. And then lastly, for blocking pole touches. A blocking pole touch is whenever you open up your wrist and uh, you're gonna use the pole to stabilize you, yourself rot rotationally. And that pole touch, it can also be used to help you do hop turns, it can help you do um, rotary push-off turns that are sometimes needed when we're skiing in the woods. And uh, I've already shown a blocking pole touch a couple times. I might even do an entire video on them eventually. But a blocking pole touch without a pole strap means that you have no real grip to block. The pole, you can just slide through like this. And uh, maybe your hands are stronger than mine. Uh, if, if so, you don't need your pole strap, great. But I feel like a lot of people um, would benefit from using pole straps, specifically releasable pole straps. I personally use the Solomon because you don't have to use the leaky strap. I'm unaware of other brands that make these that are really nice, but the Solomons come out fairly easily and uh, they can just clip back in, meaning that if the, if the pole gets caught, the pole just releases. You don't, you don't tear up your shoulder or tear up your wrist. And if you are to get caught in a tree well, which there's not many tree wells in the east, especially in hardwoods, you could you can release these poles fairly easily it doesn't take much strength to pull them out even a child could probably release them with the upward release so those are all the reasons why i personally use pull straps all the time and i think that everybody should buy releasable straps in fact if everybody started to buy them and stop buying the standard the standard strap poles or no strap poles uh maybe more companies would make them they would see the market for it uh but as of right now i think not using your pole straps can really screw up a lot of people skiing in the woods skiing in bumps and even just skiing in general so i'm going to try to get a pole to release for you i mean really gently this is going to be it'd be super hard to set up and get on film it's a rare occurrence that it happens but when it does happen if you don't have releasable straps uh it would cause some harm it could pull your shoulder out of the socket to be honest with you so we're going to see if this works um i trust these things they've come up on me several times and we're just going to jam the jam the pole into a little Y. I know this is not a real world situation, but if I sat here and filmed a thousand hours of skiing, the chances of getting this to happen without trying to get it to happen would be almost null. So let's see if I can get this to happen. Nope. <laughs> so I know this is a very contrived situation, but we have tried 10 times to try to launch my pole into a tree and get it to stick and uh, it's a very rare occurrence whenever you ski. It probably happens to be once or twice a year, but when it does happen, it can cause some real damage. So what I've done is I've just taken the pole right here, and I'm just going to ski off, and I'm going to show you how easy this thing releases. So if I go, it just comes off right away. I don't have to go retrieve my pole, but uh, I am no longer bound to it, meaning that I didn't get hurt. Uh, if that was a normal pole, it could definitely wrench your shoulder or wrench your arm by uh, having non-releasable straps in the woods. Okay. Yeah. So those are my thoughts about why we should ski over pole straps all the time to uh, be able to have more control from a whole body experience of skiing. Because at the upper end of the sport, our pole touch, our pole plant, our blocking pole, our blocking pole plant definitely helps us ski better and in more control. And uh, for me personally, it's just easier. It's more comfortable than trying to not use my pole straps. So my workaround are these releasable straps. Solomon, if you're out there, I love your poles. I could love your skis too, if you ever want to send me some your way for a review. But honestly, the poles, 10 out of 10. I think they're the best in the market. And uh, I think everybody should use, maybe not the Solomon, but just some sort of releasable system to be able to not have to change the, what they're doing just because they're in the woods. Thanks for watching, guys.
like and subscribe if you want to find out more hacks, more tips, more just thoughts on skiing.